All right, guys, welcome back to Hero Rising, and I don't know what to tell you, but yeah, this one is going to be a painful one. I'm just going to prepare you mentally, like you're going to see me struggle, you're going to see me do a lot of things that <laughs> I don't want to do. Like, honestly, I've come to a sad realization that I've, I've been thinking hard, like really, really hard if I should actually... Uh, continue here rising until this map pool changes because um i'll be honest i hate this map pool from the bottom of my heart whoever uh did the okay on this map pool, i hope they're gonna be sleeping well and and honestly i i hope they're sleeping well knowing the fact that they ruined a lot of players uh, uh experiences with this map pool because i don't think there's a lot of people who actually enjoy the current map pool stuff like side delta and, and golden or actually seem like pretty good maps com compared to like ghost river and, and dynasty um but yeah enough of my complaints let's do what we're here for um we <laughs> we are going to do uh a zvt for the beginning and this one is probably the, the longest one if i'm not mistaken um it's going to be quite a quite an interesting one full of stuff that we can learn from so let's look on the positives uh there's always mistakes to be fixed so yeah uh me not being too um too happy about the map pool is like you know something something different it's just not my map pool it doesn't fit my playstyle that's for sure like probably oceanborn is the the only map that i i sort of like uh i know a lot of people don't like oceanborn either so yeah I'll, I'll try not to make this whole episode about the the maps like ranting about the maps but yeah so side delta is probably one of the relatively okay ones i would say uh there's some open areas there's some some choke points there's like depending on where you can fight and and i emphasize where you can fight because a, a high level zerg might actually be able to to manipulate that i'm sadly not feeling like like i'm able to do that so might just be me um but yeah i'm i'm still trying <laughs> you know as as always uh but yeah now i scouted a, a already finished command center and i i realized it's cc first so i went for a third base um and i knew that there's going to be something of a shenanigan coming up let's see what i'm going to actually do against this whole thing so my my plan was okay um let's just play ling bane scout what he's going to do is he going to like uh make even more of a macro advantage or is he going to all in off of it well, let's see how it's going to turn out uh and and i'm already like sending my my second overlord across the map so i'm going to send it in at like 3 30 uh instead of like the 3 40 3 45 just to just to see because you know command center is done so there might be some kind of uh shenanigans I just want to know what my opponent's uh, decisions are going to be. So I don't see any kind of a wall. Uh, I'm kind of suspect suspecting that he's not going to invest uh, the money into it. Obviously, you don't need depots as fast uh, because you have the early CC. So that's that's cool for him, I guess. Um, I'm already. You can see that I'm. I I don't actually like this map because of that center part in front of the natural. Um, if, to me, giving like making extra stuff like keeping extra things specific for a map that for example i need to walk my queen up so the creep can actually climb there so i can spread my creep properly is is an extra stuff so i'm scouting an ebay i'm scouting no starport yet so i figure it might just be some multiple rax shenanigans i try to do some attacking see if he has any upgrades yet so I see that he wasn't not like maybe he was playing I don't know the timing maybe he was playing some kind of like a, <laughs> I don't know fastest plus one I'll ask him. Um, I'm already floating a bit uh, which is quite bad I should be making queens in this situation spending my larva getting a a lair obviously I don't think I'm getting my lair I think I forgot about my lair. I wanted to make my lair uh, but at least look at this so right now I'm trying to do stuff like you know just you more moving SPX. across with like a link and seeing the timing of the of the move out because 
I, I feel like I'm not really paying attention to the vision and I'm also trying to spread my overlords. The problem is, uh, as you can see in the top top right side, I am actually floating crazy, so uh, it's it's not great. Obviously, my, my macro slips, which is kind of kind of shame because it usually doesn't. Uh, but obviously adding a new thing uh, to, to keep eye on will actually take a toll on my macro. So I'm expecting some kind of a move out and specifically without medevacs. Now, will it be without medevacs? By the looks of it, it is. Um, and I see that he's moving up. So I am not sure where he's coming from. Um, I'm going to probably, I think I pick another link and just, you know, see what he's doing. Okay, I'm seeing him moving out. So I have an idea that he might just be over here. And he's going to to come uh, towards me at, at this position. Now I'm sending a link over there. Maybe it's just going to be a, a third base, uh, early third base or something like that. And then I see multiple units moving there. And I'm like, uh, okay, interesting. You can see that I'm actually like looking down on the on the medium map. The camera is inverted, so it's going to look a bit more, more interesting. Um, because I should be looking down to the left side, but it's gonna seem like I'm looking down to the right side if you like, you know, um, get it from my perspective and inverted. So <laughs> interesting. So I'm trying to pay attention to the middle map a bit more, and now I'm trying to pounce because I know the tanks are not sieged, and this is probably a, the better fight. And here I should already back, and I do that, but yeah, I kind of sacrifice like the bailings. And obviously, honestly, I'm I'm not really feeling. Uh, I I think for future episodes, I, I might just actually play uh, either Ling Bay Ravager or Roach Roach Ravager uh, Roach Ravager into Roach Ravager or something. I feel like I I suffer from uh, from a a lack of identity in in all the matchups for now. Especially, I I don't feel like for a time I felt like okay if I get to the late game I'm okay. Um, but here I never actually truly get to the late game like that 85 to 90 drones you know I, I don't actually get there I'm luckily able to for to afford my my stuff uh, I see also a, a potentially third CC uh, it was kind of a mistake not to scout it obviously should have scouted it but now I'm going to do it uh, I should have sent my overseer towards his third base and then into into the main or something like that you see that he's like uh trying to, to scan and you can see where i took my fourth base so i try to hide my fourth base from him and try to link it with creep so i have enough um stuff there now i see that he's moving out from that position i suspect that he has a third base over there I'm also trying to move out, but I should only fight on creep, and this is such a bad position to fight in. Like, I'm seriously... Oh, and here I make a mistake. Like, I'm floating, I should be making overlords, I don't think I'm making overlords. And now I'm actually attack moving, but my links are deciding that this is like the... The closer path. And, and here I make potentially one of the bigger uh, mistakes. I'm trying to remake queens, by the way, as you can see. So I'm trying to make my queens uh, as I lose them, uh, which is obviously not the best case, but at least I'm, I'm actually making them. And for now, I'm at a okay-ish drone count. I believe I'm at around like 66 plus. I, I hope so. Um, for something that I need to like defend, it's, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but yeah, my opponent is playing quite well, choosing like decent fights and everything. Now I try to, to move in and this is a mistake here. I should not be fighting this amount of marauders and everything. Now, I'm curious what you guys would actually pick in this situation. What what kind of uh, composition would you would you pick? Because as I said, I'm, I'm sort of in a in a identity crisis when it comes to ZVT most likely. Because um, ZVP usually ends up in, in some road shenanigans because my opponent tries to all in or something. Um, so yeah. Also down the road, spoiler alert, you're going to see something uh, quite interesting, so to say. Okay, I see that he's backing into a corner, which is obviously not optimal for me. 
Um, I'm trying to grab my banelings over there and he's like, you know, containing me over here and he's doing a really, really good job. He's patiently doing it and I'm, I'm impatient. I'm an impatient person when it comes to this. I want to solve my, my problems as quick as possible and look at this. I'm moving in and I'm just moving my, my queens and all that stuff. So I don't have that much money, so it's not great. And here for a moment, it looks like I am actually stabilizing. So I see that he's going to have... Uh, a couple of units coming in or maybe i don't even look at the minimap in this case so yeah probably not um but yeah for now i feel like i am somewhat stabilizing my queens are falling which is not great uh but i'm actually removing these uh these medevacs as well and i i can chase uh, just a tad bit i forgot my hydro upgrades which is kind of a kind of a blunder to be fair um I don't think that's what cost me the game, but uh, like in, in case it, it cost me, then uh, the, or it, damn it, can't even talk. So in case something costs me the game, I don't think this is going to be the, the biggest of deals. Uh, losing bases is probably more more of an issue because I get knocked back to like three bases, which is not enough to be fair. You can see that my my income is not going to be that high. I'm floating quite a lot of gas, so maybe I should focus on the, the minerals, but instead I'm taking more gas. As I, I don't know what I was doing here. Uh, I, I saw it, but I, I was like, yeah, what am I supposed to do here? Maybe I, I just burn the gas on bailings or something. Um, so yeah, I am open to any, any suggestions of any kind when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to uh, what kind of composition would you actually play if you were in my shoes or just in general what's your preferred composition right I was thinking maybe I should take that base like a, a proxy base you know or something like that and in hindsight it might have been like an okay thing to do yeah, I tried to send this into the natural um, I am extremely late on my hive I, I don't know why I so this episode I'm, I'm doing like very uncharacteristic mistakes i do a couple of good things as well like um draw microing in the early game um optimizing my my you know mineral income uh, just a tad bit and of course i'm, I'm trying to scout uh, as much as possible and and just you know react to what my opponent is doing okay here here's probably the the bigger mistake right now as there's gonna be even mines i don't don't know if i even realized that there's mines there even though it was on my screen so i tried to like pull my queens together and all that stuff and i see the liberator and i realize oh shit i don't think i have like uh anything against that i tried to go for infestors at this point and let me tell you that much it's it's not great um when you actually have to <laughs> push push through these choke points and all that stuff so here i'm trying to like clean this up um i'm also going to have a bit of an issue here at least i connect a couple of those bailings i should have stuck around the marauders to at least finish those off I'm trying to micro back you know um but at this point my opponent is i'm, I'm blind so i have no idea what my opponent is doing um I tried to scout there, but I saw a lot of buildings in there, so I was like, yeah, this is not looking great. Um, I tried to take bases and all that stuff. I think I, at some point I will check my drone count and I will not be happy about it. Uh, once again, I, I should prioritize minerals in this case. Trying to, like, pull stuff. And I realized, okay, I need a fifth base. I desperately need a fifth base. Uh, because my dirt is also mining out so it's looking really really dire not enough minerals you took all the minerals from that cluster you mutation no minerals for that but yeah it's it's going to be a bit of a shit show episode um maybe we'll bounce back at some point uh for now i just feel like i the map pool just bothers me too much like I'm not gonna say like aesthetically, but like the play style of them. This one bothers me because there's like so many high ground, low ground positions and like certain choke points. And then it's just basically. Now that I think about it, 
what I could have done is just, you know, when he tried to contain me, just try to expand and, and whatnot, but obviously it's so difficult because you never know when it's going to pull the trigger. You need to have units in position. Um, it's kind of difficult. Oh, uh, okay, never mind. Uh, the gimmick, the gimmick of this map pool, taking down rocks. Um, I should have done this and take down the other rocks, uh, my opponent's rocks as well. So in that case, uh, if he's sieging up in the bush, I would be able to actually to actually get a, a surround uh, from like two positions. I think that would have been now. Now that I think about it, I think it would have been a, a decent uh, decent thing. Now I have a counter attack. This one I should have done like for a billion years already. Um, I should not sack my queens, obviously, because uh, now I don't have that much uh, money to actually replace them. Uh, this is absolutely terrifying to, to lose my queens like that. I literally have zero queens right now. Um, so yeah, even though I'm, I'm putting up some decent fights here and there, they're just too rare. Like, even now, my hydras are like moving in f first. Uh, my investors are not in position, so... Uh, you can tell that this is like, you know, just trying to do something uh, while it's already already over so here i i have a decent position uh, or sorry a decent fight also you can see my cat charlie is uh trying to trying to do <laughs> something i don't know what he's trying to do but i'm trying not to get uh, super distracted this is gonna drop next to me you can see my my poker face i'm like i don't care i don't i'm, I'm not even like you know i'm not my my uh, focus is not bent like not even a bit trying to to figure out if i can actually win this game or not like i'm hoping that my fifth base is not gonna get destroyed at this point because if that gets found and gets destroyed like the freshest base my m the most of my income pretty much uh for the longest time uh following up this this uh this stuff and yeah, ooh, and I, uh, I think yeah, <laughs> I think here I just got caught and I lose one of my investors and I even miss like a fungal, like a couple fungals. Yeah, I'm like, and I and I just saw the the mini map and I knew that my my base is under attack and at this point I I'm just I I'm just gonna tap out at at this point. Yeah. I wasn't actually happy, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna look around and I'm gonna see that <laughs> my opponent is actually taking, taking like uh five six bases, so it's not great. I even saw like extra command centers. All right, so I play post youth against someone who, for some reason, I remember that they all in me. Now I can't actually remember what kind of all in this was, but I'm like. I remember one specific thing, a hatch block. And I know that this uh, this map, it's like kind of important not to get my hatch blocked. So, yeah. So I don't know where I know Hiroshi from, but also kind of a cool way to actually quote unquote mistype um, Hiroshi. Also need to pronounce it a different way. So I see that it's going to be a hatch block. Um, it is what it is. I'm going to send that there, but then I'm like, you know what? Um, I don't want to play post youth. I don't like the map. I am, I'm not a fan of it. So Even though they say it's like yeah, I, I don't know what's in my mind and like I just have these I have these uh, small moments like these these moments where I I literally just like, you know, okay, you know what? Let's do like a roach <laughs> Let's do roaches and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm gonna get a couple of links as well. Okay, and then I'm looking at it. Okay, we can sneak in a base. Can we do that? Yep, we can. I'm not sure if my opponent actually paid attention to it. Maybe he was actually at home macroing. Um, what I should do instead of spamming is fix my, my goddamn drone li uh, mineral line. But yeah, it is what it is. I mean, there's gonna be two empty ones, I believe. Okay, never mind, it's fixed. Oh no, never mind. There's one with three. <laughs> so yeah, it's not fixed. It's not fixed, guys. It's uh, it's a shit show, obviously. So I am not making this uh, this thing because I knew that the probe is on the map. So I want to get rid of the probe first. Um, I've been doing this the safe way, 
And sometimes it doesn't work out because, you know, my brooches are a little bit later. I try to surround this probe. And now I try to, to cut its path. Okay, this probe will not actually scout anything. So I put my links there on the top of the ramp to actually um, patrol. So they don't actually let in any kind of uh, probes or, or any... Oh yeah, probes, I guess. <laughs> I see a zealot there, so I know that he's, he's basically playing it safe. He's, he's scared because he saw an early pool. Now, if you're a Protoss player, I should not tell you this, but you know what? I, I'm not a moron. Um, yes, I all in from time to time. Um, pretty much like once per episode, and mostly it's uh, it's either a ZVZ or a ZVP. <laughs> because Terra cannot be all in. Screw you guys, you... You complain about all this, but you hold everything. I mean, um, wrong chat. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, so I move out. I should make my Ravager already. Um, I'm super late on it. So basically, usually it would be uh, Roachworn, then Queen, then uh, second pair of flings. So yeah, I see these two adapts. Uh, it's not going to be too big of a deal. Trying to like put some damage into into their HP as well. You see that is gonna finish the shade, and a couple of links should actually finish. I actually put them on a uh, on the same control group as my queen, and now I'm going to get rid of the zealot. And at this point, the game is pretty much over. I'm going to take down the pylon. I'm gonna kill the stalker after that, or the second stalker as well. Like at this point, yeah, it's 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 quite over. Nothing too much to, to talk about it. Um, as I said, not the cleanest, but it works out. I, I am doing a safer version where I'm making sure that they don't scout it. And, and then a lot of people will actually just uh, build a zealot and second gateway and everything. Although you, you need it a bit later. So you need tech, you need robo, all that stuff. Anyways. That is it for that, and we face Hiroshi again. Uh, now we had someone who left the game in between. I actually didn't even have the time to um, to react to it. Uh, someone who I know that hates uh, ZVP, so doesn't want to play it. Or PVZ rather. Now I'm trying to get the the hatch block off my table. Um, I'm gonna be like, okay. Let's just do a 15 hatch. I'm gonna do a 15 hatch into some kind of roach. Uh, once I get to like three bases and whatnot. No now, I've been doing a lot of 15 15 opener when it comes to, to ZVZ. Like, not 15 14 14, but like actual 15 op uh, 15, 15 opener, which is a 15 hatch, 15 overload, 15 uh, pool. And. You delay your speed, but you actually gain four queens pretty fast and all that stuff. But that's a two base build, so um, it kind of it kind of you know aligns quite nicely uh, with the mineral counts and all that stuff. But Are you saturated yet? I actually need to like refresh my memory on on how to play no a proper fifteen fifteen in the other two matchups because I think I struggled with like how I should actually play it out. Now here I actually do something that it's also not characteristic, but I've seen it from, from people like Ace, you know, the, the Paranoia Drone, um, Ace, Sugar Called the Second, uh, these guys are actually doing it. And by the way, this is going to be like a, a super, uh, super unfortunate game. So I, I, I think this was the, the most tilting uh, experience that I had for now like I, I think it was like the <laughs> the most tilting one um, and I'm not even sure if I was this the last game it's kind of wild that I don't remember it although I, I literally just played it so I, I F up my gases um, and I see the two the two gateways, so I know his nexus is going to be delayed. Uh, I I don't really want to, like, push in. Although I should have. I should have. So, hear me out on this one. I should have. Um, it's exactly what I should have done. And it's funny that I, I, I scout the position. And I am, like, 
okay, well, everything's clear, because uh, I know that is kind of a, a common proxy location, the one on the, the right side. And I see the two adepts. The reason why I did not scout uh, behind the mineral wall is uh, most likely, <clears throat> most likely the, the reason for it is, is just, you know, uh, not seeing, not seeing, um, anything but like two gateways and crota boosted so i knew the tech is also going to be delayed now i lose a couple of drones here which is unfortunate yeah it's it's kind of unfortunate but i guess i'm going to like uh um, it's not the end of the world like i don't know how many like four five and, and then i see zealot and stalker and i'm like uh okay i don't want to lose my overlord and I'm kind of sus. I'm already like contemplating, like, okay, how should I actually scout? No what should I do? Then I'm like, oh, you know what? Let's just spread Not some creep. Energy. And then I see minerals. something. I, I think I don't down. realize it on the minerals minimap yet. That. I think I realize it quite late. And then, yeah, I don't know if I actually see it. Yeah. Okay, I'm just blind, guys. It's it's fine. Okay, base is under attack. And I'm like, wait, what? Like, <laughs> okay, what is the stalker doing here? And then I'm like, oh, shit. And I'm like, oh, shit. You know, the, the second oh, shit was like, the holy shit. It's like, oh, my God. <laughs> so I have no speed. Uh, sorry, I have speed. I didn't pull out of gas. I, I have some some gas for roaches, but I know I have to sack my, my third base. And I was like, yeah, I should not get a spine, right? I mean, it's going to be like a couple of stalkers, but like, what, what are we looking at? I'm getting supply blocked as well. It's like, uh... yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely in a, a terrible position and I even lose one more overlord. This is looking pretty, pretty bad. Um, I'm trying to do something, but my queens are also not in position. And at this point, I'm like, okay, I, I think I'm just dead, you know. Um, it's probably taking a third base and whatnot. And, and see more stalkers, and I'm like, ah, oh, well, it is what this GG. And then I, then I realize it. I'm like, bro, like, dude. The one time I don't send my freaking probe across. Uh, sorry, my my draw, uh, my overlord in across like behind that wall it's a one base so yeah it wasn't the last game by the way uh now that i i remembered it um and the last one is going to be also played on side delta and this time around it's going to be a more annoying one i i think i'm still at least a tad bit tilted from from the previous game you can see it on my my face i have like that that gamer that gamer face you know that game face gamer face whatever you want to call it so i'm i'm trying to like uh make make sense of the the whole thing not enough minerals you need more minerals you got no minerals good job keeping that money down no so yeah i'm 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 not even sure I'm not even sure what to what to say here because <laughs> uh, that that last game pretty much drained me. I think of, of like motivation, but I was like, you know what? I, I still have one more game. There's like that that one more game syndrome, you know? It's like just one more game, okay? Like this time is gonna be good. This time it's gonna be okay, and it's never okay. <laughs> it's never okay, guys. Uh, it is never okay, and, and I should learn my lesson. I should have stopped there. Um, I didn't want to, to do a, a sub 30 minute episode, but that's also something I also decided, like, if I if I don't feel like pushing myself one more game forward, then I'm not going to do it, because my goal is not to embarrass myself in front of you guys. It's not to, like, showcase my worst moments. Um, it's basically, you know, knowing when to stop, knowing... Uh, where to improve, how to improve, stuff like these. This this is the goal. Now, do I achieve that by by going one more game after I am clearly tilted and I'm like, you know, considering myself unlucky and, and all that stuff? No, absolutely not the, 
not the not a good decision that's pretty much it but yeah uh we're playing another zvp as you could see and i am looking around with my links if i should actually be afraid of something that's not going to be the case and i'm taking my third base sending my drone there gonna take out that probe um obviously my opponent saw that um it is going to be uh, a three base play uh, at least three base play so i'm trying to send in my my overload as fast as possible now on a big map like side delta i actually need to send it out uh, a bit sooner which is quite a bummer because you know i have two options here i either believe that my opponent is not going to counter rush and i just you know stick around for just a tiny bit with my overload and then send it across instantly like at one 110 at least I would say one not even 110 no not 110 i actually like 105 or something like that or even one minute um so yeah that's one of my options the other option would be to position my first overlord to the side and hope that the soccer is not going to come and just try to to kill it and then hopefully hopefully we're going to see something all right so now i see I, I see what I need to see. I put down the Roach Horn. Um, take my lair. I take, I think, a couple more uh, workers. And I believe I'll get, like, two extra gases. Accidentally, I press my, my minimap key. There we go. Okay, now I, pay, I should pay attention to, once again, and I see, like, oh, oh. A Dark Shrine. But it's in its infancy, so it's not that big of a deal. I'll put my, my spores here. Now... I did not exactly expect what I should have expected. I did not see a robo, right? Now, let's get some context here. I didn't check properly if the Twilight is is uh, researching something or not. I don't know why I didn't realize that this timing already should have been like a DT timing. This is like way off already. Now, what's gonna happen? It's going to be a, 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 in my opinion, in my opinion, okay. Um, I don't know the exact timing of this one, but this looks like a a solid build from my opponent. Okay, never mind. It's like five twenty. Okay, no, no, it's not. <laughs> I, I'm praising him for for quite a lot. Uh, this is not the best. So, the way you need to micro this is you. You pull your, your stuff. The problem is, those adepts are actually going to kill a couple of roaches. Oh, there's, I don't know, like 10 adepts or something like that. Um, you need to chase the shade with the links. You need to pull away the workers. Um, you try to, to do something. And I see the prism in there. And I know it's going to be DTs. I know it's going to be DTs at some point. DTs are right now marching towards my base. And what I do here is a crucial mistake. So now... I should have either pulled my drones onto them or pull my queens into the main and transfuse that hatchery. This is, this is like, uh, the game is over here. Okay, I'm, I'm on two bases. The game is over. Like, I could counterattack. I'm trying to, to make something out of this, so. I'm uh, like, okay, let's double expand. Uh, which is not a bad move, but I need to go across the map. I need to do something. Now, here's one more mistake. Um, I control grouped one of the one of the overseers with my queens, but when I actually merged my my queen hotkey with my uh, army hotkey, I actually forgot to pull back one of the overseers. Now, why is this that important? You might ask. Well, you'll see in a moment. Try to pull in, in do some gas. Um, trying to make some overlords as well. And I try to, to do something here. And this is going to look quite painful. <laughs> so to say. Now I forget to make uh, a spore here. So it's quite a, quite painful. Let's just put it that way. 
Okay, I get a couple of kills here, but I don't really pay attention because I, I literally can't. Um, I, there's already a, a prism next to my third, and I'm losing drones, and um, yeah, this is looking absolutely like a shit show. Trying to move that, and, and I'm like, I'm getting dismantled once again, and just looks ugly AF, that's for sure. And I'm trying to do something here, but as you could see, the, the mistakes pile on top of each other. Like, small mistakes, it's not extremely huge deals, but it's mistakes, right? So, uh, my overseer did not come home in time. Um, I'm sending everything there. And I am, I am super tilted at this point. I'm like, fucking hell, like, I, I just literally messed up uh, not having my overseer with my queens. And not making a spore at the third. And before that, not going into the main with my queens. GG. So I tap out. And that is going to be it for for this one. Uh, I think I'm even going to show my MMR. I'm not happy about this. I think there was like one win by the leave. And that's pretty much it. I, I, oh, yeah, it was one against like Hiroshi on, on post youth. Anyways, guys... So it's a painful one, and I am not exactly happy about it, obviously. But it is what it is. Some of these episodes are just going to be like this. Um, it was a worse day than my normal days, I, I feel like. Um, it is what it is, right? We learned something, hopefully, at least I did. So hopefully I am going to be able to, uh, to implement some of those... Um, things that I learned right now into the future episodes. So yeah, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one. This was Hero Rising. This was Mousy from Platinum Heroes. I love you all and stay tuned for more content. Peace out.